guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how i use okra gel on my hair and the effects that it has on my hair so i'm going to show you how what exactly i did to get this uh, curl pattern right here so if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here by the way my name is adede i make hair about natural hair and everything around my lifestyle so if you uh, enjoy such videos don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll definitely see you in my next video so as usual before i start any hairstyle i separate my hair in four sections and i work with each section at a time uh, at this moment my hair is uh, slightly dumped and I'm going to lock in the moisture, the water in it with my uh, Jamaican black castor oil. So that's what I'm going to do. After that, I'll go ahead and separate my hair so that I can uh, bunch to knot them. <laughs> So uh, after separating it, I went ahead and out my uh, beautiful texture uh, moisturizer. That's what I added. And after that, I added my Oco gel. I added just a bit. I didn't add uh, too much because I don't want my hair to be too uh, wet. So I added like a palm full of uh, Oco gel. And then I went ahead and twisted it. and. I went ahead and add my moisturizer that is my beautiful texture uh, moisturizer and uh, I went ahead and added my ochre gel after adding the ochre gel I uh, detangled it slightly and then I twisted it up and I bound to knot at it This is the next morning and I actually went out like this but I'm going to take down the uh, bun to nuts and uh, even right now I'm seeing a lot of shine that I normally do not uh, have so uh, I'm not too sure if that's because of the okra treatment and also and also because of uh, the okra that I use in the form of a gel. I'm not too sure about the hold, how it's going to hold uh, my curls, but then again, I didn't do it uh, too much for the hold because normally I don't put any gel in my hair anyway. I did it more for the moisture. I did it more for the moisture and I'm going to see how uh, it came out. I'm going to take it out without putting any oil on it, which I normally do, but I think that my hair is uh, uh, it's feeling really moisture and it's feeling shiny right now. So I'm just going to leave it like that uh, Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out
So I'm done taking out all of the bunter knots. And what I notice right now is the curls are really, really tight and it's looking really nice and juicy and it feels also really soft. Uh, normally I don't use gel because I normally don't want this tight uh, curls. I want my hair to be loose, fluffy and look big. I don't want my hair to be uh, shrunken and uh, flat, which I will achieve for uh, two, three days or something like that with this hair. So that is totally fine. I wanted to use the Oco gel and see uh, what kind of effect it will have on my hair. If it will have the same effect as a gel in, on my hair. And it does have the same effect as a gel, only it's, uh, it's not crunchy. Uh, it's actually really uh, soft and it feels also more smoother. Yeah, that's what I noticed as well. So I'm going to turn around so that you guys can see. As you notice, it's really uh, shrunken, but that is fine. I will, it will fluff out really well uh, the next day. But I'm going to try my best and fluff it uh, uh, right now. I'm going to separate the curls and I'm going to fluff it and see uh, what happens then. So I will be right back. So as you can see, I finished fluffing out this side and this is how I normally, this is the look I normally go for, but then more elongated. Uh, but because of the gel, it's more uh, on the shoulder side, which is fine because I think uh, tomorrow or after tomorrow, it'll uh, be, uh, uh, it'll come uh, to its normal state. So as you can see, the curls are also still there. I'm going to go ahead and fluff out this side also and then uh, I'll be pretty much done and I'll come and you guys will see it. Like the shrinkage is really well, it's not even funny. Yeah. But yeah, we have to do what we have to do. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fluff this side and come back. So this is how it looks like when it's all been uh, fluffed. I must say that I'm actually loving it, although it's not as uh, fluffy and as... Uh, yeah, as uh, elongated I would like it to be, but I'm still uh, really enjoying it. It looks really nice and it feels really, really soft. The softness is really out of this world. It's not even funny anymore. I'm going to go ahead and pick it out uh, a bit. I don't know where my afro comb is, so I'm just going to use this uh, comb to uh, pick the roots uh, out a bit. So that it becomes more bigger. The bigger the better. <laughs> and as you can see I still have some curl definition uh, in there so it's not like I destroyed all the curl, curl pattern I still have some curl definition uh, in there so uh, that is good Okay, so this is it. I think this is uh, the best I can get for today. Uh, it will get better and better after tomorrow. So uh, my uh, overall thoughts about the Oco gel. Will I use it again? I think it's really good if you want to make your hair uh, more moisturized and more uh, softer. And if you want uh, like a light hold uh, for your hair. Uh, I do uh, want my hair to be more softer and all those things so I will continue to use it as a pre-poo pre or as a hair mask or a deep treatment but I won't continue to use it as a gel because that is really not the style that I'm going for but if you do want to use it as a, as a gel it's like really uh, uh, perfectly fine just like uh, the flat seed uh, gel, how uh, it have almost the same effect as that gel. So um, it is good to be used as a gel, but I will personally will not be using it as a gel because uh, I have I rather have my hair uh, fluffy and frizzy and uh, elongated than uh, really short. I'm going to turn around so that you see everything properly. This is this side. <laughs> Ew. 
So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want uh, uh, me to try out like uh, uh, natural remedies uh, for our hair like this, let me know what uh, what uh, natural remedy you have in your hair. I am planning to uh, make a video about uh, my onion uh, treatments which I've been doing and I've been noticing a lot uh, uh, going on in my hair. So I'm going to do that so that uh, uh, you, I'm going to share that experience with you guys as well. So if you have any other home rem remedies that you want me uh, to try out, maybe I can try out. Maybe that could be a thing, like a series for the, the coming winter time, trying out new remedies. So like house uh, hold food things for your hair and see how uh, what the effect is on thin natural hair maybe we can do that so let me know if it's something you'll be interested in and I'll try to see if we can fix something up you know so thank you very much for watching and uh, if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye bye